the crispy edges of a baked good are the best part of any baked good, right? Yes. Why are we not waffling everything? Oh my god, oh my god. I have this. Squish? the greatest thing you've ever seen. That's what they look like. Okay, bye. Like, look how amazing that looks. Wow. Wow. What's up? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another episode of TMG Test Kitchen, which we just decided this is now what this is being called. Yes. When we decide to test random things, in the kitchen. It's basically science. Welcome to our lab. It is, yeah, it is the definition of science. We are scientists. It's science. And today we're going to be testing what we can waffle. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing necessarily anything extreme, but we're, we're gonna test some things that we've never waffled before and just see how they turn out. Yeah, I feel like we're going for a good mix of this could be kind of weirdly surprising and this could become maybe a staple waffle thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think, what I think, they'll definitely all work. It's whether they're worth it. Wow, that's so confident. I don't know that I think they're all gonna work. You don't think they're all gonna work? Should we talk about what we're doing or should yeah. we just go no. into- No, I feel like we let's just talk about it now. Okay, so what are you doing? Okay, I think I'm gonna do, so, if you've watched any of our videos before, we make cinnamon buns with Pillsbury Crescent roll dough sometimes. So I thought if I just make some of those and press them into the waffle maker, do I have cinnamon, cinnamon bun waffles? So. And I think those would be better than cinnamon roll pancakes. <laughs> oh yeah. And then I have some pre-made brownie batter that I'm going to try and waffle. And then we're gonna to switch to savory. And I'm gonna try a grilled cheese. In, in classic TFG fashion, start with sweet, go to savory. For some reason, it makes so much sense that I never question it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to finish with some Beyond Meat and I'm going to make a Beyond Meat waffle. <laughs> I'm so excited for. It seems so weird when you say Just it. Just straight up a meat waffle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so what are you making? Oh, I'm gonna start with a pre-made muffin mixture. So I'm gonna just put some muffins in the waffle iron because like muffins can take a while to bake. If I can just throw one in the waffle iron in the morning, ideal. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna try making an oatmeal muffin. Um, and then we're gonna try and do the Pillsbury biscuits um, and just kind of coat them in cinnamon sugar. Like a lot of people use them as a substitute for like donut. Mm -hmm. dough. So I'm going to kind of go off of that and then just toss them in cinnamon sugar once they're done. And then switch gears to savory-ish. <laughs> uh, it was peanut butter sandwich because we got to try some sort of sweet, sweeter. Peanut butter is still kind of a meal, but like it's sweeter. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then try pizza pocket. I'm going to, I got pizza dough and I'm going to make a pizza pocket that's waffle shaped. That's the one I'm the most nervous about, causing the most mess. But most curious about too. Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, should we just get waffle? Yeah. Let's we I don't want to waffle back and forth about this anymore. We just gotta. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so we're just following the bag instructions and then just replacing the egg with vegan egg substitutes. So we're gonna do flax egg instead. Here's the muffin mix. Let's make some muffins. Let's make it our muffin mix. I don't think I've ever made muffins from a pre-made mix. All right, so I don't know what to cook, how high of a heat to cook these on. That's a great question. It's gonna be part of the dilemma, right? Yes, but like with any of these batters, how do you? Cause like you wanna make sure the inside cooks at the same time as the outside. Uh. Okay, so I sprayed my waffle iron with some nonstick spray just in case. I'm also going to set it to like, not quite the max, but like medium high. Okay, so the dough has been rolled out and then you spread butter on it, sprinkle with brown sugar and cinnamon. Now we just roll it and then we waffle it. And it'll go. Oh my 
might have ripped his. <laughs> I feel like this looks weird. It's like Catherine hanging out with a waffle maker at his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and my waffle maker. This is the thumbnail right here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this now. I think I'm just gonna like, oh, it's sizzling already. Oh, she's hot. Okay. Maybe I'll just try two at, that, two at a time first. I'm nervous. I just like, squish. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can get this out without ripping it. There we go. Got my muffin waffle out. My muffin waffle. It looks like a waffle. That's my muffin waffle. It looks pretty normal. Yeah, it looks. It's very soft. It's not like it doesn't necessarily have the like crunchy outside that you associate with a waffle. Maybe a little bit on the edges, but not really anywhere else. It's a little crunchy on the outside. Like it's got like it's got like a shell to it, and it's soft on the inside. Pretty good. I don't know if I immediately taste muffin, but that could just be the mix that I bought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's really good. I would eat this. So a muffin mix pretty much translates to a waffle pretty well. Yeah, no, very well. I think this would be a fun way to serve muffins. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's like a very cakey waffle. Mm. I like it though. I would do this again. Okay. Okay, here's what we got. They're looking, um, Pretty toasty. Yeah? Pretty toasty. But like also, the butter and the sugar will like cook very intensely, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the sugar like almost immediately burns. Yeah. Like, depending on the heat, but. So I don't know if they're done on the inside, but they look so brown. They opened up well, like they didn't come apart. Yeah. And they might be done. Because usually if they're not done on the inside, that's when you start seeing a tearing off. Right. Oh, it's so hot, <gasps> hot. Oh my God, it looks so good. Oh looks... my God, that looks amazing, Devin. I think it looks darker on camera, but. So back to hanging out with Catherine and her waffle maker. Um, I've got a bunch of biscuits and I'm just gonna stick one of them in here and see what happens. <laughs> Should I do two? Yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna put two biscuits per waffle and then we're gonna toss them in some cinnamon sugar possibly or just eat them as is. We'll figure that out. Put them in the center and then just like squish it down. Here we go again. Squish it down. How's your waffle? I'm inspecting them. I gotta say it's pretty satisfying to squish them into the waffle maker. <laughs> yeah. They look so good. They're so intense. They look amazing. Like they look decadent. Do they smell good? They smell like a cinnamon bun, but like with a touch of burnt on them. Okay, yeah. They smell a little burnt. Yeah. So maybe with those ones for future, cook them a little lower temp and a little longer. Yeah, yeah. I kind of just want to see what they're like on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna, open, open I'm gonna break one open. It's really hot. Ah, it's hot. Ah, it's hot. Oh, oh. they look lovely though. Oh, you got like layers. They're like layered. Oh wow, not what I expected. I guess because the way you squished down the roll, right? I guess so, yeah. But I, for some reason, expected them to just like morph together. Me too. <laughs> oh wow. Good? That's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> would you do it again? Yeah, I think I would. <laughs> Wow, that's so cool. Oh my God, we should definitely make that one a recipe. Although like it's right here, you just <laughs> didn't do this, but we should make it a recipe. It'd be really good. Science is so cool. Okay, there's the finished product. Here's the inside with the layers. Oh my God, I just peeked into the biscuit ones. Oh my God, I just peeked into the biscuit ones. They look so good. What? <laughs> they look so good, Devin. But like, they look so golden. They look like the perfect waffle. They oh my so gosh, that's so exciting. Okay, so they're gonna, they're starting to get really dark golden on the outside. So I don't know if they're cooked on the inside, but I'm gonna take them off because the outside is cooked. So I might need to lower the temp for future, but oh my goodness, look how good that waffle looks. 
Seven. That's beautiful. Is that not the most beautiful waffle you've ever seen? Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's oh, like it's... bread. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna try it as is and see. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so good. I just tastes like bread. It's so good. Imagine making a sandwich with that? Yeah. A breakfast sandwich of this would be bomb. It makes me want to make a breakfast sandwich now. But also this dipped in soup or something too. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Bake biscuits this way. It's so good. Okay. So I lowered the temperature. They are much less, ow, oh, they're so hot. Much less um, burnt. Oh yeah, they look, yeah, way better. And they didn't come apart, so they're probably done, right? I think so. Maybe I just really like bread, which I do, but like, look at this. Look at these bread. Wow, it looks so oh. beautiful. Here, this one's like really freaking mm. hot still. Oh my God, I can't open it. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, Evan, that looks so good. <laughs> what a good day. Pillsbury for the win. <laughs> so okay, here's the other one. I kind of just want to take a break from the waffle iron for a second and make a breakfast sandwich with them because holy crap, they're so good. Like I have just egg and I have sausage and I have cheese. <laughs> Maybe you should. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Brief interlude in the uh, waffle making adventures. I'm making a breakfast sandwich because this is too good not to try it in a breakfast sandwich form. Look at this waffle, oh my goodness. I was wondering, I'm making it with these breakfast patties, which are actually really good. And then also with the just egg, which is also good. And as someone who didn't really like eggs before, I don't find it that flavorful, which is a good thing for me. <laughs> okay, for my next trick, we're taking this, there it is there, and we're gonna waffle it. Um, it's accidentally vegan. And all you need is water, oil, and one egg. So I'm using egg replacer. And then that's it. Here's my egg replacer. That's everything in together. Now we just mix it. There is a lot of melted butter and sugar in my waffle maker now. <laughs> yep. Okay, only downside is it gets a bit messy in there. Definitely gets a bit messy. Is this not the greatest thing you've ever seen? Devin? Oh, it's... <laughs> it kind of looks like plastic play food. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get my mouth around this though. Okay, so I'm gonna try and eat this. I'm gonna really like squish it, I guess. Oh my God, I feel what? No, you have to make this. Really? Yeah. It looks so intense. It is, but it's so good. Okay, so we got it pretty much mostly clean there. I think that's enough to move on. Here's the batter, ready to go. Okay, oh, gonna make a mess for sure. It's so thick. Uh, that's what they look like. Okay, bye. Bye. So like uh, liquidy? Like I don't know. What? No, we're not. I just said we're not close. We're steaming so much. There's no way. Don't you be? Oh no! Oh no! It's Catherine. It's really bad. What happened? Well, oh, it's really so bad. It's not even close to being made yet. Or oh it's my god, it. it's just a goopy mess. Oh. Dear. Um, uh -oh. do you want me to try and show you? Yeah. Can you see? Oh no. <laughs> Devin, no. I'm gonna say maybe that this uh, one isn't gonna work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna turn it off. And um, we're gonna throw the rest of these brownies in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. 
skilled work. It just takes time because it's brownies. They usually take a long time to cook. But like, I don't know if you want to chance that. Should I give it a little bit longer? It just looks like such a lost cause right now. Up to you. It is your waffle maker. <laughs> Let's just see what happens when we go a little bit longer. Time for peanut butter sandwich. Okay, let's do a status update on these brownies. Oh, here we go now. Um, they're still cooking. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them out. Let me show you. Can oh, you they really didn't puff up at all. No. So you don't get that waffle shape regardless. So it. So it's not worth it then. I don't see why it would be. Cause yeah, at this point, if they're not gonna puff up. They're and they're barely a waffle shape. What am I doing here? Yeah, just All waste right. your time and the waffle maker's time. I think I'm gonna call it. I'm okay with that. I approve. Seven about this peanut butter sandwich. Now, should I just make a peanut butter sandwich and stick it in there, or should I make sure the peanut butter's more in the center so it doesn't like squirt out everywhere? I feel like you should just kind of like sandwich in. Just make a normal sandwich. I think so. All right. Well, the good news is that it's it's coming out pretty easily. Yeah? Well, yeah. there is usually a lot of like fat in a brownie. So it would make sense that it wouldn't really stick that badly. At this point, you probably got some nice brownie bits that will go in some ice cream or something. Ooh, or in between cake layers. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter. Should I put something on the outside of the bread or just leave it? I think you should put butter so it gets crispy. Yeah, so like you'd be making a grilled cheese. Yeah. Okay. Catherine, look. Yes. What am I looking at? Oh, there's a brownie? Yeah. It kind of stayed intact. It's like almost there. So like it it almost could work. Almost, yeah. Ah. I feel like maybe it just needs like a little bit more flour. Yeah, like it's, the potential is so close. <laughs> oh, it looks, I don't know, the top just looks so gross. See, like, look at how this one came out of the waffle iron. There's like, kind of potential, but it looks so bad. Ah, oh, it's so hot, so hot. I don't know. That's what we got. This is our fake panini press. Now, if this works, I'm actually gonna be really excited. Cause I don't have a panini press. All right. And I, I wonder if I just have to stand here and hold it though. See, or if I can really squish it. Oh my God, can I do it? Kind of so bad. Oh, almost got it. So oh, I got it to lock. There we go. See, now I gotta switch to my savory stuff. So I really gotta get all this sweet out of here. Okay, so like it's starting to brown a lot. So I'm gonna lower down the heat a bit because the center's not browning yet, but it's looking great. Let's open her up. I have a feeling it's probably done because I don't want the edges to get too burnt. I don't know if you can tell, but like, look how amazing that looks. Okay, so not too much peanut butter came. You ready for the sandwich? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my God, I love it. <laughs> it's really hot. So I'm gonna let it cool for a sec. And I'm gonna cut it in half. It looks so good. Look at that. So cool. But I don't see peanut butter anywhere. <laughs> so where is the peanut butter? Oh man. Ready? Yeah. Oh god. So crunchy. Too crunchy? It's very crunchy. <laughs> Are you uncomfortable? Okay, I peanut butter in there. I think I should put more next time. Yeah. But this can be a great grilled cheese. Oh man. I will say with yours, so I had to really press down to get it flat and in order to lock it, then I didn't have to touch it because it was locked. Yours doesn't have a lock, so you might need to like hold it there for a little bit. Okay, makes sense. Okay, we're back in business. Okay, also, I kind of want to be a little bit fancy and use two kinds of cheese. Oh my God, do it. Okay. I approve. Because I have some of the applewood one that melts Oh, oh yes, amazing. the cheese bowl. Yes. And then I also have like some classic cheddar. Yeah, classics, yes. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay, so there's the cheese. Flip it over. 
it's already sizzling. You can do it. Okay, I'm trying to press it. Cheese going everywhere. I'm gonna oh my God, it's pushing out so much. Stop this, no oh, stop. Catherine, look, can you see it? What am I looking at? No, I can't see it yet. Oh, yes, I see it. <laughs> So I guess the cheese melts quickly, eh? You wanna see? I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. It just, it just feels soggy. It doesn't feel crispy. Did you put butter on it? Yeah. Oh, I wonder why. Oh my god, cheese everywhere. I wonder if the cheese like steamed it up or something so it went soft. Okay. Oh my god, stop oozing out the cheese! It won't stop! <laughs> oh my god! Here's where we're at. Feeling pretty crispy. Actually, like in those holes, it's pretty crispy. But like, cheese everywhere. I don't know. Do I take it out? Uh, what was I doing? I got my pizza! <laughs> I've got my pre-made pizza, pizza dough. So I'm just gonna make little pizza pockets. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit of sauce. I'm like really nervous this can go everywhere in the waffle iron. Cheese in here. Oh, it's pretty crispy. I think I'm gonna take it out. Yeah? You wanna see? Here it is. It's crispy? It, it's feeling pretty crispy. Here, this is what it looks like. Oh, it looks good. It looks crispy. So I went around this pizza pocket twice to hopefully make sure the edges are sealed. I also don't know if I should, like, should I push it down? It's just gonna burst open, isn't it? And rip. I think not. I think you gotta be gentle with this one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's my pizza pocket. <laughs> it's horrible. Pizza pocket. It looks so thin. The pizza pocket? Yeah. Like, we'll just let the weight of the waffle iron do its thing. Okay, I cut the sandwich in half. Yeah. Looks pretty thin. But then like, if I go like this, I feel like you can see, can you see? Cheese? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. I see some cheese in there still. It's like super gooey. I'm excited about this. Oh no, something burst. Something has burst. I can hear it. I can hear it sizzling. Oh gosh. I'm so sore. Oh god. Maybe I shouldn't be at eye level if it's bursting. I think I would do this again. Yeah? It's like really nice and, and crispy and like super gooey on the inside. Yeah. I think it works. It's just uh, a lot messier than I thought. Yeah. It's pretty good. It oozed a little bit, but not too bad. I honestly thought it was going to ooze more. Don't know if it's fully cooked or not, though. Oh my. Yeah. Whoa. It's very hot, though. <laughs> I'm going to let it sit for a second. Try it. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. <laughs> Is it cooked? I think so. Okay. Maybe it could have went a little longer. <laughs> but I think for the most part, it's cooked. Got my grilled cheese. I think maybe I need to fill it more. I don't know. I guess no, there's still cheese in here. It's good. It worked. You just wish it was like more filled? Yeah. And I mean, like, I don't know if it'll ever be because like that the waffle like doesn't have a lot of space to fill. Yeah. <laughs> but like it's yummy. I don't know if I would like necessarily recommend it, but it's good. Yeah. I know I, mean, I would recommend to try it at least once. 
I think that's how I feel about the grilled cheese too. Like I like it and it works, but I don't know. You're not going to change up the way you cook it. No, because the more I eat it, the more I'm like, it's nice and crunchy and it is cheesy, but it should be more cheesy. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so I'm only using like a third of the Beyond Meat just because I don't want to taste it. That's fair. That's bad. Um, and I'm going to add in just some cheese, just like mix it together. Duh. Squishing it together. Good times. <laughs> We got our three <laughs> cheesy meatballs. <laughs> I'm very excited. Me too, me too. I'm nervous. I think I've kind of lost confidence. Like the first one went so well. The brownies were bad. The grilled cheese was a roller coaster. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so you think I just like place them on and then crush them? Yeah. Oh, you're doing all at the same time. Bold. No, I just, it's just bold. I'm excited. I took one off. Okay. <laughs> I got nervous. What? Take a look. Oh. 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 Okay, it's definitely crispy on the outside. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's like a little slider. It is! Oh! I honestly, I think it's probably done because like Beyond Meat never really takes that long to cook, in my opinion, but I don't know for sure. No, I'd say this looks done. Oh, I'm so excited for you. How are you gonna eat it? Let's just go ahead and put this guy on here. Goodbye! Squish. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wait, I, need, I have to film this. It is freaking adorable. Yeah, that looks cooked to me. Oh, it's so cheesy too. Wow. Wow. Me too. I just like bite it? I kind of want to see how cheesy it tastes. Go for it, just bite it. Mm, mm, mm. I love the crispiness. Mm. It's the way people should be making burgers now. Yes, this is so perfect for a slider. Like I, I can't. <laughs> I wonder if you could kind of like add a bunch of spices to it and make that a breakfast sausage type thing. So like breakfast type spices to it and then make that like a breakfast sausage patty. I think yes. Yeah. <laughs> we could just waffle everything for breakfast. <laughs> That's what we've done. That's like the biggest takeaway from this science experiment. Yeah, because I guarantee you, you could also waffle just egg. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could have like one thing on each quadrant. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You could make the sandwich in one go. <laughs> This is how great ideas are made. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's why we do this, right? Okay, so should we, should we wrap up? Yeah. What was okay. your favorite? My favorite is probably the Beyond Meat. Wow. I it was gonna work, but it, it worked yeah. so well. But it's yeah. close call with the cinnamon buns because those were also. That makes sense. I would have assumed it would be the cinnamon buns. It's really close. It's really yeah. Close. What about you? The biscuits, without a doubt. They were so good. <laughs> and so many different uses. They're great. <laughs> Seriously. The only thing I think, like, I think the pizza pocket could work. I just think it needs a little bit more testing. Mm -hmm. And I think it could be pretty great. Like, it could it's just, it's just fun, you know? I wonder that about the grilled cheese too. Like there, it feels like there's potential. You know? Yeah, same with the like peanut butter sandwich. I think there's potential. You just kind of got to rework it a little bit. Well, uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> David, what if we started a food truck where our gimmick was everything was waffled? <laughs> I really think we should do it. <laughs> yeah, what's the name? What's the name? Can we just do a waffle themed month where all of our recipes have to be made on a waffle iron? <laughs> Tell us in the comments. 
<laughs> yeah, if you want to see this. For Waffle Month. <laughs> I wonder when Waffle Month is. There's got to be a national Waffle Month. For sure. Yeah. Also, tell us in the comments interesting things that you have waffled or that you think we should have waffled next time. And yeah. uh, which one of these you're going to try. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed another episode of Science in the Kitchen. <laughs> science in the kitchen and uh will it waffle was mostly a success yeah i would call it a success even if like nothing was an absolute fail other than the brownies yeah so i would call it a success all right and you know what we had fun doing it we did (laughs) so much fun and we didn't destroy our waffle makers honestly yeah that's good